This is Dave Sundstrom. Welcome to another video celebrating entertainment from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. Growing up, Eight is Enough was one of my favorite TV shows to watch on ABC. I loved the entire cast, from youngest child Nicholas, played by Adam Rich, to the oldest sibling in the Bradford clan, David, played by Grant Goodeve. In this video, I will do my best to provide an update about what Grant has been doing since the show ended in 1981. But first, let's talk just a little bit about the show itself. As I think back to this beloved TV show, which ran for five seasons, the thing that I remember most is just how good it made me feel. I could try to describe it, but maybe it might make sense to share one of the original promos that ran on ABC instead. America has been waiting for a family show about a real family. Maybe you're just old fashioned. Yeah, maybe. A show that reveals the joys and the sorrows. You better all dig down and find your pennies because this family could be in deep financial trouble. The triumphs and the defeats of real people. Mary, would you lay off the line? He's just trying to do his job. The Bradfords are the family. Eight is Enough is the show. Right after Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley. Hold on just a moment there. What's Mark Hamill doing on Eight is Enough? Well, as a struggling actor who had not yet made it big in a certain science fiction flick, Mark was actually cast as David in the pilot. However, when it became painfully obvious that Mark had other things going on that were going to occupy most, if not all, of his time, the role of David was recast, and that's where Grant enters the picture. Along with its talented cast, one of the more memorable things about the show was its theme song, which actually wasn't used until the third season. Well, that's not actually right. The song was performed by Grant himself, and it actually made its debut during the final episode of the second season when his character David performed it on stage. The song itself did not chart here in the U.S., but it did help establish Grant as a singer. More on that in a moment. But first, I've just got to say that I loved Grant's guest star appearance in a 1983 episode of T.J. Hooker titled Blue Murder. Now there's another great TV show. You got Shatner, Locklear, and that feller from Bachelor Party, and a bunch of great guest stars. How can you go wrong? In addition to T.J. Hooker, Grant showed up on programs like Love Boat and Fantasy Island. In interviews, Grant has said that he really enjoyed working on those shows because he was able to work with some of the legendary actors from an earlier era. He especially enjoyed working with Ricardo Montalban, who told him that he was so grateful to be working that he thanked God every day. Those conversations made a lasting impression on Grant, as you will see in just a minute or two. In 1984, Grant hosted a short-lived Solid Gold spin-off titled Solid Gold Hits. I only vaguely remember this show, but from what I understand, it had the Solid Gold dancers on it, so it couldn't have been that bad. After that, there were stints on shows like Dynasty and on the daytime soap opera One Life to Live. And with each opportunity to work, I am certain that Grant kept in mind Ricardo Montalban's words about giving thanks. It would have been so easy for him to wonder why he wasn't getting bigger leading roles. But instead, he developed a reputation within the industry as someone who came to work with a smile on his face and an understanding that each day and each acting opportunity was a gift. And of course, there was the obligatory reunion movie. Actually, I think there were two of them, if I remember correctly. And while I absolutely love Mary Fran, I really think that they should have waited until they were able to get Betty Buckley back. Grant also had a prominent role in the CBS television series Northern Exposure in a handful of episodes during that program's first season. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that the 8 is Enough theme song really helped establish Grant as an accomplished singer. So I guess it shouldn't be surprising to anyone that in 1996, Grant released his first, and from what I can tell, his only album, titled The Wonder of It All. This recording showcases Grant's firmly held Christian beliefs. More on that in a bit, but let's get back to some of his more recent TV work. In 1998, Grant began hosting a travel show called Northwest Backroads, which ran locally on KING TV in Seattle for approximately 16 years. Again, not the kind of gig that was going to propel him to superstardom, but it was steady work, and the workplace setting, well, it was pretty darn spectacular. 
Grant has been married to the love of his life, Deborah, since 1978, over four decades. Holy cow, that is awesome. I have to believe that Grant and Debbie have treated their marriage in the same way that he has treated his career. It's a gift, something not to be taken lightly. Debbie, by the way, is also a singer. Something tells me that these two, regardless of the challenges that life might throw at them, make beautiful music together. Before moving away from the Seattle area, more on that in just a moment, Grant and Debbie were both very active with their Presbyterian church in the area and were often called upon to use their vocal talents to help minister to the local congregation. So like I just said, in 2014, Grant decided to move out of the Northwest and relocate to Atlanta in an effort to further reignite his acting career. And you know what? It seems to have worked. In 2017, Grant landed the role of Walter Lawford during the third season of Twin Peaks. It wasn't a role that got him a ton of screen time, but the program itself, which aired on Showtime instead of ABC this time around, was very well received and lots of people once again were able to see Grant Goodeef doing what he does best. Even more recently, he co-starred with former Duke boy Tom Wopat in a great little movie called County Line. I really enjoyed this film, and you know what? I think that you will as well. I liked it so much that I published a video with my own thoughts and personal review of the film. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I'm pretty much done here. As always, thank you so much for watching.